Um, I've been wrestling for 13 years. It'll be 14 in January on my birthday, no doubt. Um, I was trained by a couple guys, uh, John Burke, one of them, uh, Steve Zoak, who's uh, no longer with us. He's actually the guy that helped start Fire Pro. Uh, I've been here for about almost 10 years. Um, guys like Kenny Courageous, Chase Richards, so on and so forth. A lot of Chicagoland guys. Who's your favorite wrestler growing up? Or wrestlers? Oh, well, <laughs> dead one Macho Man Randy Savage. I've always, always been a big fan of him. The, the way he stands out from how he looks to how he sounds to the the uh, character he would throw in the microphone. And I think probably my favorite wrestler still alive uh, would probably be Chris Jericho just because the things that he's done in his career, the places he's gone, the people he's worked, the guy literally done everything. I mean, he's a friggin' rock star now and he still wrestles. Um, he's one of those great guys that he can he can come to a show. He doesn't have to have a belt, but he can put anybody over. He's, he does so well with his character that he can, he can get anybody over as far as, hey, what do you need this, what do you need for this guy? You know, we'll do it for you. You know, I just thought he was somebody that just stood out immensely. What inspires you to be a pro wrestler? Um, you know, when I first started, I think I started because everyone was like, you know, hey, you get, you get famous, you know, oh, I've seen people on TV, they get, you, know, you hear the stories about they get, oh, they get rich, they make all these thousands of dollars and everything. And honestly, when I first started, it was just a bunch of guys getting together and doing something we, we enjoyed doing. Uh, when, uh, when Fire Pro first started, uh, probably my third or fourth year, it was it was a bunch of guys that everyone knew. Like we we knew each other so well, we'd hang out afterwards and we'd hang out hours before the show, you know. And wrestling for me was just a way to connect with so many people. And you know, I love wrestling. You know, we were all little kids, you know, growing up watching things like Power Rangers, and everyone's like, oh, I want to do that. And, you know, I was a huge fan of comic books. Oh, I want to be a superhero. And this is probably as close as it's gonna get, but. It's just something I love doing. What advice do you have for people that want to become pro wrestlers? Um, don't get it for the money. Don't get it for the fame. Uh, if you get trained by anybody, have enough common sense to shut up and listen to them. Most guys out here, uh, well, I shouldn't say most. They're those wrestlers that they they believe the hype. You know, they when they go out there and they're... They, they think that they're as good, they're, they know they're as good as the crowd lets them believe. And someone told me that once, my, my buddy Steve told me that once. Don't, you're not as good as the crowd believes you are. Go out there, your job is entertaining people. You know, have fun doing it. Have fun doing it. You know, that's what you're here for. If you can't have fun wrestling, why are you doing it? Um, yeah, but I mean, out of that, you shut up and listen, pay attention, because the guys that are training you, they're training you for a reason, you know, they know what they're doing. Just listen to them. What kind of injuries have you suffered as a pro wrestler? <clears throat> I have been lucky enough to get by with bumps, sprains, bruises. Uh, I've actually been knocked out once in the ring. Um, I've had, the worst I think I've ever had was a dislocated elbow. And uh, that's back when I was still doing all the flippy stuff off the, the ropes. I learned after that that hospital bills you're not going to make the kind of money you're going to make. You have to pay for hospital bills to do that. Other than that, broken nose. So I've been pretty lucky. Is there anything else that you would say about anything pro wrestling related that you'd like to get out? Um, guys, just, just it's a hobby, if anything. Most of the guys that most of the guys that come in here and do this, I think I heard Ron Simmons uh, tell me this once. He's in, like he said, he's like, don't get it for the fame, don't get it for the money do it because you love doing it you know uh, a very small percentage of guys actually make it on shows and you know oh they know what they're doing they can go anywhere and wrestle you know even a smaller percentage of that actually make it on TV so if you're trying to get into this to be rich and famous you're getting into it for the wrong reason just get in it to have fun you know get in it to learn a craft to 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 go out there and perform, you know, it's you get a chance to be somebody else, somebody that you probably always wanted to be and you never had the chance to. Get in it because it's fun.